What's going on guys, Illumina Cop here back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a sneaker server on Google Cloud. Now what this is going to do for you is give you a higher chance to actually get the shoes because it's going to give you a better connection from the website to your bot. Because usually if you're running like on your desktop at your house, your internet is going to be around 150 megabytes. But if you're running it on a server like this, it's going to be over 1000. So that gives you a way better chance to actually get the shoes. There's a lot of other factors in just a server, but this is definitely going to increase your odds by a lot. Now to start off, you're going to need a Google Cloud account. Those are really easy to set up and they actually give you a $300 credit so you can run your server for quite a while for absolutely nothing. Now once you have your account set up, you're going to want to go over here to the top left, click on the menu, go to Compute Engine and VM Instances. Now it might take a second to set up if you just created your account, but give it like three to five minutes and it'll be set up. So once you have it, you're going to want to click Create and then you can name your instance anything you would like. Now I usually do East one. I have the best results with that because it's fairly close to the Shopify server. So that gives you the best connection. Make sure you have East one B selected up here. And I like to go with eight CPUs on high CPU. As you can see right here, we have high memory, high CPU, ultra memory. I like to just go with high CPU and do eight and then click customize and add a little bit of more memory. Now, if you do want to run two bots, I do suggest upping it to 16 or maybe even 32, but eight should be fine for just one bot. Change the operating system to Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center. You can do 2016, which is Windows 10, but I prefer to do Windows 8. Now you are going to see over here it's $407 a month. <laughs> this does not charge you that initially, it's going to charge you by the hour. So it's only going to be 50 cents an hour. I click allow HTTP and allow HTTPS and hit create. It is going to take a couple minutes to set up, so I will see you guys once it has set up. So while this is setting up, you're going to want to go download Windows Remote Desktop. I'll put a link in the description below. It's hella easy to download. And once your server started, you're going to want to click connect right here. Set Windows password. As you can see, this username is going to be the username of your Gmail. You can, just, you can change that or you can just leave it as it is. So once the password's set up, you're going to want to put that in another tab and just make sure you have it. You can hit close, then click on the server. Come down here to the external IP, copy this. Come over to Windows Remote Desktop, hit Add, Desktop, and paste the IP right there. Now for the user account, you're going to want to click the plus sign, put in the username for your server. Now we can just come back and copy our password that we had last time and just paste it right here. Then click Save, Save once again, we can open up our desktop. And once you've opened up your server, you're going to want to open up the server manager down here. Click Local Server, come over where it says IE Enhanced Security, click On, and turn both of these off. Now this is going to allow you to start downloading things onto your server. Come over to the dashboard, add roles and features, next, 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 next once again, hit the dot frame net 3.5, next, and install. So that's going to take a second to install. I will see you guys once it's finished. And once it's done, just hit close and you've got it all set up. Then you're going to want to open Internet Explorer and then download Google Chrome. This is essential if you want to solve CAPTCHAs, so you're going to need Google Chrome. And once you have Google Chrome downloaded, you are done. All you have to do is download your bot, transfer in all your profiles, and you're good to go. So I just want to give you guys a comparison of how fast the server is compared to my local Wi-Fi. So we have 1700 download right there and 1200 upload. Now if we check my local internet, I'm only getting 176 down and 9 upload. So you can see there is a very big difference between the server and your local internet. So if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more tutorial videos. And I am going to try to upload every single week, whether it's guides on how to get shoes or just tutorial videos like this. So if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you guys later.